And YouTube is good, I think. Kaki, can you look straight like you were gonna be eating dinner? Like, blah, 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 blah. We're, all right, we're good. I just gotta plug that in. And we'd be good. Right. Got the remote. These are going to be delicious. Dipsy Doodle Fajita Garlic Bread Subs. Cheese sauce for the dipping. Cheese sauce is smoking right now. Hey, boo. boo, where is he? I thought he went away. I know. It's a dog. We have a dog, we have named, a dog boo. named Boo. <laughs> Name him after Halloween. What's up, guys? Oh, this is going to be good. Yes, guys. There's wine tonight. It was Didn't a rough... I tell you? I told you, it too. It was a rough day. Come on. You still dipping in cheese? I'm always dipping in cheese, Cody. Always. Listen, it's eating sandwiches is no oh, fun unless you have something to dip it in. Oh, I never, I never heat up my cheese. Right, you don't mind if I uh, like start without you, do you? Yeah. All right. Because I got six subs, and the middle is the filling. All right. Where am I going to? Oh, I have a dipsy doodle, too. Oh, Kaki, did I finish the dipsy doodles over there? Uh, I have the bag. Yeah, How's everybody's Tuesday? Mine was good. I got Mine a couple sucked. dipsy doodles. <laughs> a couple dipsy doodles. Drink all the wine you can boo. She can even jacuzzi. Who's the back? Joanne. Hell yeah, Joanne. I wish I had a wine jacuzzi. Were you dipping in my dipsy doodles? I didn't touch your there's like crumbs left. Because you know you were sitting there munching on them. Oh, not munching on them. Yes, you were. Alright. I'm going in. You get a close up. I want a dipsy doodle, but I just grab my own bed. Uh, there's the cheese. Mm-hmm. Uh, got cheese mustache. Freaking thing is high on the shit. Hey, Chrissy. Oh. Yeah, no, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Oh, hey, Chrissy. This is gonna be really good. You know what? If you if you enjoy fajitas, okay, try putting garlic on them. It's I like, always put garlic on fajitas. It gives it a whole different taste. What's on these beauties? Rice, avocado, uh, no, hold on. Let me start over. Rice, peppers, onions, cheese, chicken, fajita hey, seasoning. Right now, six Dipsy doodles and guacamole. And there's fat free sour cream on there too. Fat free sour cream. I haven't had sour cream in a long ass time. And I miss it. <clears throat> Spicy though. Ooh, looks banging. What's up, Auntie? Thank you, Cali boy. You woke up at 5 a.m. Energetic from your donuts? You're downstairs for a leg workout. Feels good. Nice. I didn't go to the gym today. You want to hear some bullshit that happened to us? Yeah. As you know. Hey, Jimmy Jam. As you know, my Hi, car. Jimmy. Or maybe you don't know, but I do bitch about a lot. Hey, Matt. What's up, Matt? I bitch a lot. About the fact that our car is a piece of garbage, right? So we finally went into the shop yesterday and we got it back. $1,400 later, we got it back today. I'm going to the gym with my mom, and guess what? It breaks down. Same shit that was happening before I went into the shop. Here's the thing I picked the car up. Bunch from of the horse crap. I picked the car up from the mechanic and I turn on to our block. The engine light pops on, and the same notifications pop on. I'm just like, what did they do besides fix the automatic door and the windows? The noise, Jimmy Jam. Remember the noise? It kept on dying. It was just getting loud. It was getting louder and louder and louder. Is louder a word? Am I saying that yes. right? It was just horrible. So yeah, $1,400, a little over $1,400, all for the car to come back to us a little quieter. But still, big piece of shit. But still, the same shit that was happening before it went in. Go figure that. What's a man gotta do? Just to pay the mechanic, do a good job. 
And our mechanic is very good. I guess he just mm, missed it. I don't know. No. I, I never really cared for our mechanic. They're always on some BS, right? Yeah. Here's the thing. I don't think we, all mechanics was... are like that. I really don't. I'd like to believe that, but these days, who knows? Who knows? Don't you remember the Gallant with that specific mechanic? We always had to go back with it because mm -hmm. nothing was ever properly taken care of. No, Jimmy Jam, here's the problem. The noise was coming from... Because I neglected the car. Like, I was low on all my fluids. And it needed an oil change. I'm just Which bad they with, still didn't do. Which they still didn't do. I'm just bad with cars. I'm bad in general taking it. Like, putting the maintenance and all that stuff. So, I mean, it's my fault, but at the same time, when you ask the mechanic to fix the car and please just make sure there's nothing wrong with it, you'd think they would do that. You would think. It's a bunch of shit. You're lucky. You're lucky. My mechanic's good. My mechanic's good. They do. They keep it coming back and spending money. It's like, a mechanic is that one job, if you wanted to be a shitbag, you could be a shitbag. Oh, bag. a shitbag every time. You could, if they if they wanted to, if they wanted to. Yeah. Alright, Jack's got the first chip. Well, my friend Steve, who's the prepared foods manager at my job, who's been out for the past seven months, was in a car accident. Horrible, horrible car accident. Who? Steve. Do I know Steve? I don't think you ever met him, no. He works during the day. You, you never go there during the day. Oh, okay. He also does, like, mechanic work on the side because he used to be a mechanic. So when he comes back, I'm going to ask him to take a look at the car and see what he thinks. Hey, is he coming back soon? Because we kind of need that shit fixed. All right, we're going to... It will be fixed before then. Mm. Maybe it'll be fixed before then. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, Jimmy Jam, it sucked. It sucked. I mean, my work day... My work day was okay. I mean, I didn't get, to, right go, I didn't get to go okay, to the gym. That's what got me. That's what, that's what got me. The guacamole came up. Yeah, it was a nice touch. 200 calories worth of guacamole, which is a freaking ripoff. But I'm extremely low on calories tonight, too. That's fiber and potassium right there. I don't even think I broke 2,000 calories with this meal, to be honest with you. And I burned about 43, 4,500. Mm. No. This meal, including my wine, was 15 and change, <coughs> almost 1,600 calories. YouTube is very bright. But they didn't say what the noise was from, Jimmy Jam. They said it was an internal engine noise and it would cost too much to fix. That's what they said. Which leads me to believe they didn't investigate what the actual freaking noise was. <coughs> well... Her breathing treatment, she's got to do it for, what, another two weeks? No, just this week. Oh, just this week, and then she's good. She's getting better. She's getting oh, better. She, it, the doctor said she's all right. There's a tiny little bit of fluid. She said the neb should take care of that. Pete MTZ, I got to tell you, I wasn't extremely, like, thrilled about WrestleMania. Like, in my opinion, I thought NXT the night before was much better. I mean, WrestleMania itself is always going to be... The showcase of the immortals, the, yeah, the immortals, and it's always going to be an awesome show just because of all the, the pyro and all that stuff. But I was like, eh, you know what I mean? Like I, I don't know. I was, I was iffy about it. Yeah. Oh, when you're gassy. Yeah, it's definitely the car's definitely not gassy. <laughs> Cali boy, I'm always doing that. That's a daily thing. Like the pull-ups, the push-ups, the squats. I do that every single day at work after each pickup. And I got 15 to 20 pickups. Oh, Matt, so your mom's nice. She helped her find something before she knew who she was. Oh, really? Yeah, my mom's a sweetheart. Until you get to know her. Wow. I, I, I kid. I kid. Me and my mom have got that brother-sister relationship. She's my best friend, don't get me wrong, but she's a big pain in the ass, too. Just like I'm a big pain in the ass to her. You know, I'm still a child. I'm still a child. We still argue like I'm seven years old. And that's a true story. Like I'm not even bullshit about that. 
When they argue, I feel like I'm looking at me and Lucas arguing. NXT was crazy. That's exactly <clears throat> what it looks like. NXT the night before was crazy. Now, the only problem... What about only, being gassy in the car? I read it. You know, here's the only thing. commented. Here's the thing. I love NXT, right? I like a lot of the guys that are in there. But when they bring the guys up too quick, and they don't have anything for them, they get lost in the shuffle, and then they get a dancing character. And then they disappear. And then they get released. How many guys did they bring up from NXT? Like, like I don't even know. A lot in the last month. I always want to hear something funny, uh, Jimmy Jam. Good night, Auntie. Am I saying your name? Have a good night, yes, Auntie. Oh, Auntie, Auntie. Auntie or Auntie? Auntie or Auntie? Which one is it? Is it the? Is it one or two? Well, copy. Uh, well, oh, Cody. Blake says Jamie live stream would be okay. I would love to do it. I would love to do it. That would be an awesome stream. I would. Blake, mm, Blake's I look a forward to that. Blake's a busy man. I'm sure it'll happen one day, but Blake's a busy man, and I'm, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm happy. When we did it. that pizza with Blake for my birthday, there was no way we could stream. That was such a teeny tiny little pizzeria, and people were in and out, in and out, in and out. You wouldn't be able to see anything because people constantly walking past. So. Yeah. I think when we do eventually do one, if we do, Lacey, I, hope we do I also one. agree with you. Hey, Lacey, I didn't even see you creep in here. How have you been? We didn't talk to you last night, right? Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question. For those of you that are watching on Instagram, are you getting, is it still weird seeing us on Instagram rather than the YouTube camera? Because, like, I know the views don't. Now that, you know, whoever's watching on Instagram are, is not watching on YouTube because the views have drastically dropped. Is it still weird? Just curious, just curious. A little dipsy doodle action. Not at all. Cody, you watched on YouTube, correct? Oh, this is freaking awesome. Good night, Pete. Thank you for popping in. I enjoyed your company tonight. Pete? Pete MTZ, oh. not Fasting Bastard. When I hear Pete, I think Fasting Bastard. I'm like, I didn't see him pop in here. No, no. I did I did do a, a story tag. Did you see any of my stories tonight? I haven't really been on Instagram. I prefer YouTube, too. Yeah, just because of the, Just because of the thing. Hey, Kylan. What's up, Kylan? I prefer YouTube just because of the, the, the camera angle. Like, I don't know the TV. You watch YouTube the day after. Oh. That's what Cody said. He watches YouTube the day after. The YouTube is a better picture. And it's You don't brighter. get the notifications when you're live on IG. That's true. Well, you have to. Well, you can. If you, what is it, what is it called? You have to get, um, there is a way. Like, we get. I get them. You get them. When I'm live on Instagram? You, I think you just have to turn on all notifications. No. If you were to click the little dots above my profile, you could click on turn on post notifications. And you'll get notified when I go live. You'll get notified when I, oh. you know, post a video I've or a picture. I never did that for you, though. Hmm? You don't have to. You, my phone, your phone will not get noticed, like, boo when I go live. My phone does get that when we're live, but I never turned on those notifications, is what I'm saying. IG? For you, Colin? Um, Kylan's eating too. What are you eating, Kylan? Yeah, Kylan, I remember when you streamed that one time with the Captain Crunch pancake. You remember that? I do remember that. Too much notifications on IG. It's like I like IG a lot because it's, I'm constantly reading the comments. YouTube, even though you know my peeps were in there, and yes, I call them my peeps. They're like my family. They become my friends. Not everybody would 
would always want to talk, and that's fine. It would just be the Jamie and Khaki show, me and Khaki talking. Yeah, it's fine. Bullshitting about our random our, our day, the things that's happened in our life. And specified what? Better I'm giving you. Sh <laughs> I'm kind of eating a giant calzone. Nice. nice. What, what is it stuffed with, though? Ham? Yeah, what'd you fill your calzone with? Ham, pepperoni, bacon, broccoli, spinach, lettuce. Bet you put it lettuce in there. Ew. Not the calzone. I bet you put lettuce in there, Colin. Can you ask a personal question on here if you want? I mean, what kind of personal question? I mean, yeah. there's no difference between this and YouTube. As long as it's not a sex question, because. Because we've never had those on here before. <laughs> uh, I'm curious to know what you'd like to know, Matt. <clears throat> a gomies. Hey, a gomies. Long time no see. I gave him right back to you. It's Khaki talking, but it's me doing it. I control that shit. You see an emoji coming from Khaki? It's me. Yeah, he's, he's logged into my account. These stars? That's me right now. See, now I don't Giving understand myself, why you can't read give comments myself hearts. <laughs> under you. Because it's live right there. And the comments are popping up. No. I, don't, I don't understand. You've been working too much. Well, that's... I understand that. Gomies, I understand that. Mm. 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 <laughs> Who wears a tights in the relationship? Jimmy Jam. He may wear the tights, but. Who wears the tights in the relationship? And if you did not know I wear tights, yes, I wear tights. And these are red snowflake tights. <clears throat> I wouldn't call myself a snowflake, but I do tights. snow. I do. I wear. I have plenty of tights. He's more tights than I do, and I'm a chick. I got and tights. I go to the gym. I got tights for days. I don't wear the tights to the gym, though. Don't be mistaken about that. I one. saw some guy wearing tights at the gym tonight, and I thought they were like tattoos on his legs, but I was like, no, they weren't tattoos. They were tights. <laughs> I don't. I don't eat with the shirt on. That's how I stain my shit. You go just in undies. <laughs> Tights are extremely comfortable. Here's the thing. It's like the fabric, the fabric itself that I wear is extremely comfortable. Wait, touches your skin. It's a nice feeling. I don't wear underwear. I don't. I just don't like the way it feels. I don't wear under underwear to the gym either. I can't. It's just, it's very uncomfortable. Very, no, very my uncomfortable. Wieners. Especially when you're sweating. Okay, mm -hmm. Matt, I will. And things like chafe, it's just like, ugh. I mean, shit, if you want to ask on here, you can. It's hard to okay. explain. Okay, okay, right. I'll check it I'll check it later. I'll check it as soon as we're done with the stream. God darn it, I'm just lo I just lost a whole bunch of goodness off my sandwich. Are you happy you got those too? Yeah, I had to put my fajita on something. I thought you were just eating with a fork. Oh. All right. I'm only eating two wraps though. What was that? A hundred and something calories? A hundred and twenty calories. I'm surprised how low I needed I went. it for my, my fiber. If I'm still hungry, I've got strawberries and ice cream. I actually got Enlightened, one of Enlightened's new flavors tonight at the store. You're about to eat McDonald's tonight? A gomies, why'd you have to tell me that? Did quitting cigarettes help any of your workout seen multiple times hitting your vape? Of course, cigarettes are obviously worse than vape. That's no. Since I quit um, cigarettes, I'm able um, to breathe. Do we think there will ever be a way you would get YouTube Live going again before you're a thousand? Well... I need a thousand subscribers. Yeah. 
unless YouTube changes that, I'm not going. I'm not going to be live on YouTube. Trust me, I miss it too, Lacey. I do. I do. But there's nothing I could. The only thing I could do is possibly make a post and ask you guys on IG to subscribe to my channel, which would be great. I didn't do that yet. But even even doing that, I mean, I don't know. I hope so. All right. What was the cigarette what? question? Who asked it? I don't know, but Chrissy said that McDonald's is changing up their late night menu. Uh, They're only going to offer a few items. I'm much. scrolling back to the cigarette. Uh, Cody said, did quitting cigarettes help any of your workout? Seeing multiple times hitting your vape. I haven't smoked cigarettes in six years. Almost six years. For me, eight. Khaki, eight years. Now, vaping, vaping helped me quit cigarettes 100%. Once I quit cigarettes, I started to vape, and I started to be a heavy vapor. I don't stink. I don't get winded. It doesn't affect me in the gym at all. If anything, I'm, I've got great wind. Like, extremely good wind. Like, I can run and run and run. And hey, I tattooed hearts. I don't need to stop. So vape, vaping has not affected me negatively at all. If anything, if anything, it's it's helped me, it saved me, it saved my life. It's obviously way better than smoking, but they're only going to offer a few items. Well, Chrissy, you know what? That's probably the be That's probably smart on their on their part. Who's gonna want to go to McDonald's at three o'clock in the morning and get, I don't know, a fish fillet? Ew. <laughs> I mean, I would. I would. And I'm sure there's plenty. Weird. Listen, fish fillets are awesome. Mm. I beg to differ. You sh I think you should make five hundred dummy accounts. <laughs> uh, here's the thing. A lot of people can do that. Yes, tattooed hearts, you made it. What vape mod do you have? I have a lot. Um, my main ones I'm using right now. One is a, I think it's a Vaporesso. I think it's called. And then yeah, yeah Vaporesso. Here, give me. Here's one. It was once a classy looking mod, but I've dropped it. Just a few, a few times. times. I was holding my phone up. I'm getting a really good one this week. You need to quit vaping too. New studies are it's just as bad, if not worse, than cigarettes. Yeah. There's <clears throat> who I've said heard that? that too, Jimmy Jim. Well, Jimmy Jim, there's no evidence in my that I'm feeling that would link me to think that, for me to believe that. I appreciate, you know, I definitely appreciate you telling me that, looking out for, you know. Long-term effects is what he's saying. Like, yeah, yeah, no, no, Builds up of that stuff. Oh, I know. It like other types of cancers. Yes, 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 I know, I know. And it's possible. It's definitely possible. But as of right so now... So is breathing the actual air we breathe every day. That's the thing. I mean, the amount of toxins we're breathing in, like just living. Hopefully be faster. Stream online, everything. You know when's the last time I went to McDonald's for a late night, late night meal? I can't remember. Mm, I remember. You? Oh, please. Last June, 3 a.m., an the, hour later. I'm in the drive thru for. And I had a piece of freaking bad. We I couldn't wait to get home. We were supposed to get Wendy's. Oh. Wendy's was closed because we were stuck in a buttload of traffic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Cody, you have a good night. Good night, Cody. Yeah, no, Jimmy Jam, I don't, I don't, you know what? I honestly, I don't watch the news and I don't get, I don't get caught up in that shit. The, I, I just, I live. I, I live. I don't. I don't. I'm a worry horse. I worry about everything. So the last thing I need to do is watch the news and. I mean, shit. Here. They say alcohol causes cancer. Well, guess what? Cheers. Because I'm gonna drink my alcohol. And I told you guys, khaki wasn't lasting the week without wine. I had a rough day. Around six or seven. Right. What's up, Adam? Uh, yeah, yeah. We eat at twelve fifteen every single night. We've been doing that for. I don't know. Well over a year now. It's been a couple. Of Taco Bell was always my late night thing to go to. Yeah, and then yeah, we get up early. I'm up at seven o'clock, and Kaki gets up around seven thirty. Mm -hmm. 
We get to bed around 2 o'clock, so yeah, we don't get a lot of sleep. Uh, oh, there it is. They're the reason vape is banned in the bar, bars. Oh. Yeah, probably. Who? Oh. Um, <clears throat> just tobacco is banned in bars. Oh, yeah. Uh, not just tobacco, but vape. Uh, Chrissy, you're not a smoker, are you? Oh, but even when we're at the beach, Big you Mac. can't even vape. Big Macs and Big and McChickens. I'm outside. I agree, that's all you really need from McDonald's. Big Mac and McChickens. They crack down more on the vaping people than they do on the people smoking actual cigarettes at the beach. You see that, right? What? When we went to the beach over the summer. So I was like, you can't smoke that here. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. But yet there's people smoking freaking cigarettes. Big tobacco for for that? There's people smoking cigarettes, and the, they're not breaking their balls. They're breaking The vapors? Balls. Really? Oh, that's right. When we went to the beach, I was told I can't vape. Yet there was some guy five feet away from me smoking a cigarette. Mm-hmm. I'm like, are you kidding me? Go fucking figure that one. Are you, are you kidding gonna, me, bro? The, the cigarette's gonna harm my kids more than the damn vape will. Also, you just ate dinner and gained five pounds? What the fuck? <laughs> Guess I gain and lose weight. You know how much well, weight I'm... Well, if you I'm... just ate dinner, um, you didn't poop yet, so yeah, of course you're not gonna lose weight. Hold on. Do you know how much weight I'm gonna gain from this meal? Actual body fat? None. But of course, you're, eat, you're, you're putting something in your body, you're, you're gonna gain weight. You're not getting fat, though. When they ban smoking in bars. Actually, Chrissy, that, that makes a lot of sense. I remember when the e-cigarettes first started, everybody was smoking those. Mm-hmm. Everywhere. There was no ban on it. I need to get bigger straws. That's what happens when you take straws from 7-Eleven. me are no smoking and almost everything is about the kids and that's that's great but here's the thing you're talking about like oh everywhere amusement parks in Florida? everything mm-hmm. yeah. they have those I desi- the they have designated areas didn't they because last time we went to six flags or not to new jersey she was in florida <coughs> good thing i caught that call numbers two yes yeah, so they have designated smoking areas in new jersey at six flags if you if you do number two, you lose weight. Technically, yeah. Uh, yeah, because you just got rid of what you took in. Just like if you drink water, you weigh yourself, Disney and then you pee, you're going to lose weight. Disney just closed their like, smoking. Mm-hmm. Here's I the thing. I saw that on the news. Do I plan on vaping forever? No. It's going to be hard for you to quit. I don't know about that. That's why your dad's walking around like puffing a pipe that has no batteries in it. <laughs> what? Because he's trying to quit. Oh. Everything is no smoking? They're going to come up with something else. This is what they do. It's what they do. Watch when they lose business because the parents that smoke that can't take their kids there. Because they can't have a cigarette. How sad is that? I don't know about that. Well, I guess, yeah. Can you imagine that a parent not taking their kids somewhere because they can't smoke at the place? I guarantee there's somebody out there. It's definitely better than the cigarettes, but like... Like even... Like I went to the doctors a couple times. And my mom, being a mom, always would ask about the whole vaping thing. Because she that, cares. I know. But I'm trying to tell a story. And out of the doctor's mouth, well, it's better than smoking cigarettes. You do number two about two, three times a day. Guess that's why you're not gaining weight. Probably not. You take, you use the bathroom two to three times a day, every day. That's a lot of, it's a lot of shit. (laughs) <laughs> no pun intended. Literally, a lot of shit. Alright. <clears throat> I'm happy I didn't do a salad. Like, this is just... Oh, this is freaking good. It just needs top. Exactly, Chrissy. <laughs> Lots of fiber for tattooed hearts. 
<laughs> you know what? My fiber's been up there too. I've been hitting like the sixties and sixties and seventies in fiber. And my fiber was tonight like not 40 so much. Tonight, tonight was like I was like damn. Tonight I think it was like fifty five, fifty five, sixty. I guess I had fiber from like somewhere in that room. From the peppers or something, because when I added the wraps and I was like shut up, way above my fiber, I'm like, oh, well, there we go. And that's another reason I didn't do the uh, enlightened, which I'm excited to try the candy bar enlightened. I don't know. Any you got bar- candy bar? Yeah. I saw brownies and cookie dough in there. Oh, I guess I got brownies and cookie dough. You got dough. the wrong one. <laughs> I picked up the wrong one. Good night, Chrissy. Thank you for hanging out with us. Have a good night, Chrissy. Thank you. I meant to get candy bar. I meant to yeah. get candy bar. And I cookie guess cookie dough, cookie dough, and uh, brownie. Because they ch- they're changing their packaging. That's probably why you grabbed the wrong one. Well, that's not good. I wonder how long it's gonna go for the YouTube camera to go off. It's been yeah. going off at forty eight minutes. We're at what thirty one? Yeah. Thirty one minutes. It's not bad. We might be actually be. We actually might finish before the 48 minute mark, which would be, I don't want to say it would be nice, but it would be nice to get a full full YouTube video up tonight, instead of like just talking, 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 and boom, it just ends. Are you going to eat all that? I'm going to try. You getting full? Uh, a little bit. I'm not getting my ice cream, guys. Oh. I have blueberry crumble in there. I'm not getting to it. Your health coaches? What's up, Shelby? I can get a nap. <laughs> well, thank you. We're your health coaches. That's awesome. <sighs> Be sure to drink your wine daily. <clears throat> Shelby, are you a wine drinker? I don't know. you it keeps fucking freezing. <clears throat> and booting me on. <clears throat> they used to... I don't know. It's. I mean, I have it right in front of me on Khaki's feed, and I'm not seeing it. Yeah, me neither. <sighs> My favorite meal. Mm. Favorite meal. What would you say your favorite meal doing the Blake oh, diet? Oh, the Blake diet. It's like he, here's the thing about that about the Blake mm. diet. You get to choose what you want to eat. So I mean, you're following his guidelines, which is great. But my honestly, my favorite meal is, I don't know, I'm going to say pizza just because I love pizza. Yeah. If not pizza, I like, I like subs. I don't even know what my favorite I like doing pastas. I, honestly, I like putting pasta in bread. That would be my favorite. It was a cliffhanger, Lacey. It was a cliffhanger? I don't even remember what, what it was. There's so much that there's so many there's so many different meals you could do and then you get to recreate them by just putting them in different you know putting them in either bread or. Do you believe in the whole HGH and testosterone increase with intermittent fasting? I don't really. To be honest with you, I don't know much about it. Yeah, I was just gonna say that I I, I haven't heard anything about that. Hi, Marissa. I honestly don't know much about it. For hey, me girl. To, I mean, all I could say is, since do you know, since doing intermittent fasting, it's done nothing but positive things for me and my body yeah. and the way Same I feel. Here. I was in the hospital three weeks ago. Got my blood work done. I'm good. That's all that matters to me. And Jamie was like worried about his potassium. His potassium was like on point. Yeah, that's right true. Right where it should be. I'm not hungry during the day. I mean, if you count chocolate and cookies, do I crave? I get hungry sometimes during the day. Do I crave? I'm a woman, though. Do I crave cookies and chocolate? Yes, but I'm also in office buildings that always have spreads out. Always have different cookie spreads, different chocolate spreads. I work next to the bakery department. And I smell donuts being cooked all day. And I watch them. Okay, Jimmy Jam. Drill the icing and make the black and white donuts. And the damn cakes. I see that shit all day long. That's the only thing that gets me. That's the only thing that gets me. I wouldn't say I'm hungry. We're like, oh my god, I need to stop and get something to eat. No, that doesn't No, I don't stop and get something to eat, but I do get hungry. There's nights where it's it's like 9.30, 10 o'clock. 
and we're gonna be eating in two hours, and it's like, me and I'll look at Kaki, or she'll look at me like, I'm not even hungry. Marissa, I don't know. It might be cutting out. I mean, Jimmy I'm, Jam said the same thing. Yeah, Jimmy Jam did say the same thing. He said he's gonna watch the YouTube video when it's uploaded. Yeah, I'm not having that that issue on mine right now, but it could be just you. Could be Wi-Fi issues on on your end. It could be on my end. I don't know though. Um, eh, I wouldn't say my body's pretty much immune to waiting for dinner because Lacey, as a girl, shaky and dropping things. Really? You're prone to that time of the month where. Your body just wants what it freaking wants, and if you don't give it to it, it's gonna get pissy. So, that being said, as a girl, it's harder for me during, you know, that part of the month. It happens. You just, you know, regroup, retrack, get back on track the next week. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing. As long as you, if you fall off track, just get back on. That's it. Do you know how many times I fall off? But I always make sure to get back on that horse. A little. Sometimes I fall off for like more than a week. Kagi falls off for a little bit longer than a week at some times, and she don't really give, you know, give yeah, a crap. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I'll, I'll be quite ask honest. her. Sometimes I just don't give a shit. I'll Where ask her. I'm just her. like, I'm gonna eat what I wanna eat when I wanna eat and it, that, and leave me the. Alone. And that's exactly how she <laughs> says it too. I'll be like, what's the macros or what's your calories? I don't know, and I don't care. I'm like, really? It's that kind of night. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh. Mm. You always fall off too, Marissa. It happens. Nobody's perfect. That's why it's called a flexible diet. You fall off, you get back on, and you do your best. Well, no, I count everything. I don't miss counting. Oh, I forgot. Well, you're a dude, so it's different. I count everything. You don't, you don't go through hormones like women do. It's different for women. <clears throat> Thank you, Tan. You know what? I'm here's the thing, and I apologize if I'm mispronouncing names or misreading names. Tan. Well, Herm. thank you. Tan Herm. I'm so bad at reading the IG names. I really am. Wow, oh, this is very filling. I'm going to finish, but I'm getting there. I'm going to be going to bed nice and, uh... <sighs> How do you control your blood sugar level? Maybe that's what she meant by getting weak and shaky mm. as well. I think everybody, everybody's different. Like, I don't... I've yeah. never experienced the shakiness. Yeah, me neither. Only time I experience shakiness is, like, after I'm done lifting. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that. Like, when you're done lifting, like, I just shake. I don't know if it's my muscles trying to like adjust to like what just happened. I don't know. But I don't have like a blood sugar issue or anything like that, so I don't know. Like that would scare the shit. Lacey, let me ask you this. When you get the shakiness, you eat and then it goes away? Maybe Jamie, you need some glasses. Jamie does need glasses. <laughs> I definitely definitely need glasses. You were saying he needs glasses. I've needed, I've needed glasses for the last two years, three years. Yeah, so I didn't get the, what you said my comment. Can you, uh, what hearts. was your comment though? Let me see if I, I can find I don't remember. Oh, the I'm last sorry. He said last comment. Yeah, uh, that was a while back, ago. My phone died. Say you replied when I come. Oh. Uh, I'm looking. It goes away once she has something to eat. Well, then you do number two, number three times a day. Guess okay. What? Have you ever, like, you're not diabetic in any way? Uh, do you have, like, low blood sugar? Or... Excuse me. When you were pregnant, do you have that same issue? You're literally blind without your glasses? I can't oh, see crap. Me neither. I will too. walk into a damn wall. I feel your pain. You're, you think it's your glucose? I know nothing about this. Like, well, Shelby, yeah. that's, that makes sense though. That's great if you know. That is, that's awesome if you know. I, your mom's diabetic, so you check your sugar often. Okay, you're not diabetic, t tattooed hearts. What was your last question? Mm. 
You're not diabetic. Your mom is. But, Lindsay, that's hereditary. <clears throat> Diabetes. It's hereditary. Meaning you get it from your parents. You can develop it. Once so again, that might be like the first sign. You never know. I don't. I'm not. I'm not educated on what you know diabetes and all that. I just shouldn't say that. I don't know much about it. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. Here's the thing: if I'm, if you guys ask me a question, I if I don't know, I'm gonna tell you I don't know. The last thing I want to do is put my foot in my mouth. The last thing. So I'll be extremely real with you. Extremely real. Like when you guessed where Argentina was. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> Argentina is different. I thought that was in Spain. <laughs> but you just kept going with it. Like you just didn't mm -hmm. let it go. <laughs> no. The wrong name. It was the funniest thing, yeah? yeah I make a lot of mistakes. Especially <laughs> a lot. You can develop diabetes. Um, tattooed hearts. That I know you can. Yes, you can. If you become severely overweight, you can develop diabetes. It's also hereditary. So the older you get, the more prone you are to it. And your weight has a lot to do with it. Like the heavier you are, the more of the chance that you're going to become diabetic, especially if one or two of your parents are already diabetics. Lacey said no one in her family's line has diabetes oh. or had diabetes. I could have sworn she said she doesn't, but her mom does. A special discount meal? She said, no, my mom is diabetic. So you check your sugar often. That doesn't mean, here's the thing though. Oh, you read the comment wrong. That's why it didn't make sense. Me? Yeah. Oh, well, sorry. I always find it weird my mom is diabetic, being I is hereditary. No one I told you I wasn't has good had diabetes shit. before. Okay. So, it, <clears throat> that could be, I don't even know. I'm not a doctor, but is she overweight, Lacey? I was going to say, because that's like, if you if you have diabetes and then you give birth, maybe. No. Because there's such thing as gestational diabetes. It's what you get when you're pregnant. You have to constantly check your blood sugar. Oh. Uh. But if you get gestational diabetes, you're more prone to having it once you get older. I know a lot about this stuff because they schooled me on it when I was pregnant with Lucas. I uh, had to go through like this whole thing. I don't know, so I'm going to sit here with a deer in headlights. <laughs> Devil pies, which is better? Kinds of diabetes, hereditary, and developed. Devil pies. <laughs> <laughs> Devil pies. Devil pies actually sound good. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm Hereditary and developed. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying, here's my question, because I'm going to ask you a question. If anybody knows, great. How I am right now? I'm not overweight. I'm healthy. Let's say I give up on everything. I become fat. Again, overweight, unhealthy. We have another baby. Now, because I have, I ha I got, I have diabetes. Now the baby is prone. Is no. uh, does that make sense? No, it okay. doesn't. Then let's just drop okay. it. Okay. No. Here's the thing: when you become pregnant, uh, when you hit, easy. I forget how many weeks it is. I want to say it's like 20 weeks. Where they send you for that disgusting glucose test, where they make you drink that nasty drink, and you can't drink or eat anything for that hour, and then they have to take your blood again. <clears throat> that test is for to see how your body is regulating ins insulin during pregnancy. Now, uh. some women have an issue where they can't regulate their insulin and they develop gestational diabetes mm -hmm. where you get it when, you're when you hit that certain point in pregnancy, your body can't keep up with everything that's going on and it can't control the insulin. So now, women that develop the gestational diabetes I think I should are prone there. to developing diabetes when they're older. 
I thankfully did not have to go for What happens any if you're overweight and healthy? Then what happens? That, that hap you know what? That happens to some people. Some people are just prone to it. Some people just have the gene. I guess it's gene. I'm not even sure. I don't even know. But my friend Stacy. When is supposed to be heredity and insulin? My friend Stacy is skinny as a twig. Has diabetes where she has to inject herself. Oh, speed herself. now 184, no diabetes. Hell yeah. Good for you, Shelby. And she's... <clears throat> she's constantly in and out of the hospital because she has like, a hard time regulating her her diabetes. It's really bad. Shelby, really bad for her. when are you going to post the before and after pic? Mine too, Lacey. I know you say that that shit's locked up in the vault, but... I think that would be, you should post something like that. I got fat me all over my Instagram page. No. Lacey, it could be something else. It might not be, you know, diabetes. It could be something else. It could be like, I have no idea. I'm not a doctor. Lazy, you should go see but a doctor. If, yeah, if that's a really, you definitely go if see that's doctor. something that's really affecting you to the point where it's like, you don't eat and you get lightheaded and stuff, maybe you really should see a doctor. Because I'm not a doctor. Cookies for I, me. Brownies for I cut for fruit and vegetables for a living. Like, I'm not a doctor. Don't listen to me. Go to the, go to the doctor. Yeah. Definitely go to the doctor for that. Uh, Tanner, uh, cookies for me and then brownies <laughs> is Kaki's favorite dessert. Hell yeah, my brownies and my shit. Although lately donuts have just been really yanking at my uh, my heart. Like really hard. Donuts and cookies go great together. He was too stressed. <laughs> was dangerously heightened. <clears throat> Excuse me, wow. I've been in a funeral That's casino stressful. car accident in my job. All stressful. Uh, yeah. When I was pregnant with Lucas... I was having an issue with, like, my fluid, like, in my belly with him in there. And they kept sending me for sonograms, and then the last sonogram I went to, they were like, the, the sonotech shouldn't have said a fucking thing at all. It was just like, oh, yeah, your fluid's really low. And that was right before my doctor's appointment. So there I am sitting in the waiting room waiting for them to call me in. And I'm like, oh, my God, my and I'm thinking about it over and over in my head. When they took my blood pressure, it was 140 over 90. And of course, they sent me to the hospital because they thought I was preeclampsic. But know. I was worried. <laughs> I was stressed. Stress plays such a big factor in a lot of things. Your heart, your blood pressure, everything. It's just how I burp. I don't know why. I've been burping like that since I was a kid. I just let it out and I let it roar. Sometimes I sing a song when I'm doing it. That's the truth. That was good. Mixed with no eating. Yeah. Anxiety. Absolutely. That's actually happened. My anxiety sometimes gets like really out of control. To the point where I just can't eat. And maybe it's prolonged not eating because you're so stressed out and you're so anxious. <clears throat> and it's like everything just builds up and then you just your body just doesn't know how to release it That could be it too. I mean, I don't know. I remember I got that's happened to me though Hey, Reverend, I remember I got a really bad anxiety attack. One of the first ones I got remember that guy I came home and I was crying and shaking yeah. mm -hmm. Hey, remember when Lucas was a little baby I do remember that Worst one I ever got I felt like my heart was gonna jump out of my freaking chest. You literally feel like you're gonna have a heart attack and die. I was the worst it's ever felt. By I've actually far. had anxiety attacks where it's made me like throw up. Yeah, me too. Convulse. Like literally convulse. It's bad. Me too. Well, I'm just happy I finished this because towards the end, man. All these peppers. Peppers are the best part. Absolutely. It gets to you though. Maybe that's why I've been burping so much. Peppers are the 
peppers are gassy. They're gassy, right? I'm eating a lot of veggies this week. The veggies in general are gassy. And, and, I'm looking forward to pizza on Friday. Like, big I am time. not looking forward to pizza on Friday. You're eating pizza Friday. Okay.